Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have more battles for you today in the Electric Cup and these are battles that I did and yeah, make some pretty big mistakes in these battles but we still do well, we had a 4-1. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into the battles to see what we got going on for us. We have the Lantern with the Hisuian Electrode and Alolan Graveler in the back. So yeah, I mean this team is a solid team. A lot of Pokemon you see, a lot of Pokemon are going to be um, the same. You're going to see a lot of the same Pokemon. You're going to see a lot of Lantern, Hisuian Electrode, Graveler. Um, just uh, the same Pokemon over and over and over again because they're really good. They're really strong, right? Uh, but yeah, we'll continue to, to see what we got going on. So, um, as you can see right now, Lantern, uh, obviously is weak to, to Grass Knight. We are resisting all the moves from Lantern, but they're not doing that bad to us, right? I mean, they're doing a lot of damage to us. Uh, if they shielded that, which they did, uh, they're going to be able to get us very low. We still make it to another energy ball. So do they, does my opponent want to double shield or do they want to let this go? They do let it go. Still not enough to KO. And my opponent is actually going to be able to win that matchup just by investing one shield. Uh, so we bring in, or well, I bring in my own lantern. I am able to farm down. My opponent is going to bring in Hisuian Electrode. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt. So this is obviously a mistake. Thunderbolt is double resisted. Uh, energy ball is single resisted. I, I always forget that for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I did that once before, in, a couple times before in a previous meta as well. So definitely don't go for Thunderbolt against Suryan Electrode. You do want to go for Surf, the single resisted move. Uh, so obviously my bad, but that's fine. It is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Graveler. And I do go ahead and let this one go. And they do go for the Wild Charge. I knew it was a Wild Charge. So that's why I call that. In comes Toge Tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be able to go for this Rock Blast right now into the Toge Tomorrow. Uh, Steel types obviously resisting these attacks. But still, I mean, it does get a pretty low. And I'm going for the Farm Down right now. I do have to invest the Shield, of course. I'm going to go ahead and do just that. It's going to be a Wild Charge. I'm hoping they go down before they get off another one. But no, they barely get off another one, which is not great. So I do have to Shield this. Now, if that Electrode is able to get to an attack, it's, they're going to be able to win. But they are not able to get to the attack. So despite, obviously, that misplay going uh, for the Wild Charge instead of the Energy Ball, we're still able to win that good game to my opponent. Moving on, Lantern into Galvantula. Galvantula is very, very common in this meta. Um, yeah, I mean, Galvantula, I, I mean, with Fury Cutter is, is what you see it with um, most of the time. They could possibly have Energy Ball as well. You do have to keep that in mind. Uh, but I knew that wasn't an Energy Ball, so my opponent is going to go ahead and go for lunch. Uh, and I'm going to be able to go for this Surf attack right now. Uh, my opponent lets that go. Uh, we're trying to farm down, but they do get to another launch, and I do go ahead and commit the shield here. Uh, can I barely survive that and farm down? Hmm, maybe, but either way, no, I don't think I... I think they would have gotten me with the Fury Cutters. But I'm going to go ahead and switch immediately into my Hisuian Electrode. Uh, I am done a shield, which is not great, but my opponent is not switching out. Now we're going for the Energy Ball. We're not going for the Wild Charge, and my opponent definitely going to go ahead and let that go. Totally fine. Uh, my opponent is going to go ahead and fire back with an attack, but we know we can take these attacks. Uh, it's going to be an energy ball, totally fine. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go for my energy ball right now. Let's see if they want to shield. If they don't, this will get them pretty low. My opponent does shield, so they might be weak to Electrode in the back. If they're staying in uh, and shielding that, they might be weak to Hisui and Electrode in the back. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. I accidentally clicked out of the game. That's my bad, but that is okay. Uh, so another mistake, but that was an accident, of course. I'm going to go ahead and combo play, switch into my lantern right now and go ahead and go for the surf. That will pick up the shield. My opponent does want to go ahead and fire an attack. A wild charge will be enough to KO me, and that is okay. I'm going to let it go. Uh, I do have the Graveler with a shield, which is looking pretty good. I do go ahead and successfully farm down, and my opponent will concede. So they might be weak in the back to that Alolan Graveler. But either way, we still have a shield, so looking pretty good. Moving on, this is a bad matchup, right? Um, but as we've seen earlier, we can stay in this. Uh, because, yeah, Grass Knot is going to do a lot to us, almost KO. Uh, but we're still doing a lot with the Water Gun attacks and the Surf attacks. Uh, and we're going to be able to get the Electrode low. Uh, if not possibly Flip Switch, it all depends. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this go because I know I do survive. Now, I, I am running a perfect. Obviously, that's not ideal IV. So, I do take more than like a better rank one does. Um, but, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw this uh, attack into that electrode. My opponent is going to go ahead and shield. So, as you can see, my opponent shielding that um, because we possibly could have gotten them low. Possibly could have won switch. My opponent will go ahead and throw the energy ball and out comes Galvantula, which is not good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my Wild Charge. Two Wild Charge attacks will KO. 
Um, so I, I do throw one, and my opponent does go ahead and throw an attack. Do I shield this so I can get off another wild charge? No, I do not. I let it go. Um, I think I want to bring in Graveler. I do want to bring in Graveler. And I'm going to be able to farm down very nice. You'll love to see it, right? We still have a shield advantage. In comes Electrode. Uh, my opponent will go ahead and get to an attack, so I do have to shield this. Obviously, Energy Bolt is going to KO me. So I'm going to go ahead and shield that. Uh, and we do farm down. Uh, what is in the back? Going to be a Lantern. Ooh. Uh, do I bait here? I do not bait here. I go ahead and go for this Stone Edge right now. Let's see. Will my opponent decide to shield this? They do not shield that. Um... And I'm going for the farm down right now. They're able to farm me down. And oh my gosh, my lantern goes down. So my opponent is going to be able to take that one. Good game. Well played to them. Let's go ahead and move it to the next one. Lantern into Galvantula. Okay. I mean, we know they have uh, energy ball. At least have access to it. But still not the worst matchup in the world. Obviously, the water gun attacks are doing a lot. I know this is not an energy ball. I know it's going to be a lunge. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. It does debuff me, which is, is not great, I guess, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw this uh, Surf into the Gavantula. Yes, we are debuffed, but still, I mean, they're taking a lot of damage from Waterfall. Um, okay, they throw in CMP. Good timing by my opponent. We know this is going to be a lunge. Uh, so, oh, actually, it's Crush Poison. I stand corrected. That's right. So they do have Crush Poison. Uh, that is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and throw this Surf right now. And my opponent is going to go ahead and shield that. We do want to get to another one before they farm us down. My opponent is going to go ahead and throw this attack. So I'm just going to let it go. Uh, I'm not going to shield this. It's going to be a cross poison. Um, and I do bring in this uh, Gravelet. My opponent is going to go ahead and switch into Minum. So I know Minum has access to uh, Grass Knot. And it will have Grass Knot if you're battling it. But my opponent does a good job at baiting. So nice play by them. But I'm going to be able to get to the Stone Edge anyway and go for the KO onto the Minum. Regardless, so this is going to be enough to KO. You'll love to see it. So in comes Luxray. Okay, so when the Minum came in, I was kind of expecting Luxray because they switched immediately into Minum. They wanted me to switch out of the Graveler, of course, to, so they could have this uh, on it, right? Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go for the Rock Blast. It does get him low. My opponent is going to go ahead and go for the Wild Charge. Okay, we do heavily resist that. In comes Galvantula. I try to click on the Wild Charge, but they win CMP. And this attack is going to be a lunge. Uh, and it's going to be enough to KO me. But I farm down with Graveler. We need to get off one attack. And we do get it off before the Hidden Power comes out. And we're going to be able to take that one. Good game. Well played to my opponent. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Lantern into Lantern. So we do have a mirror match going on. Um, and because I have 15 attack, uh, usually I do win CMP unless my opponent is running a 15 attack one as well. Um, but uh, just because we win or just because I win CMP, uh, I'm not as bulky, right? Uh, so my opponent is going to go ahead and go for an attack. And of course, it's going to be a Thunderbolt, right? You don't bait here, I don't think. So yeah, it's going to be a Thunderbolt, as you can see. Uh, I am getting lower than them. I'm going to get to the red before my opponent does. Uh, but I'm still able to win CMP, as we said. And I'm going to be able to go for this Thunderbolt right now. And my opponent will go ahead and shield. They're going to be able to throw an attack. I let this one go. If it's a Surf, it shouldn't KO. Although I do want it to KO. <laughs> uh, but uh, I do bring in Electrode. And I think I want to go for the Aggressive Fawn Down. Um, my opponent is going to go ahead and throw an attack into my Hisuian Electrode. Uh, it's going to be a serve, of course. Makes sense. Uh, I am going for the farm down, but look how look how low I'm getting. And because of the farm down, I do have to respect this. Even though I survive it, I would get incredibly low. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shield that. And I do get the, the farm down, but we do take a lot of damage as well. Uh, in comes Galvantula. Now two of these wild charge attacks will be enough to KO. Uh, so I go for one. And I go for another one, and I'm going to pivot out after this attack. Let's see if my opponent decides to shield or not. They do not dis uh, shield. Uh, so in comes Graveler, and it's a Lowland Graveler versus a Lowland Graveler. Uh, okay, very nice. So I'm just going for the straight farm down. My opponent is able to get... They do have the back-to-back. -back. Now I was like, I, I think my Rock's Throw goes through, so I think they'll get KO'd. But no, they actually get off their attack first. So this is going to KO me. But we should be able to farm down with Thunder Shock, right? And I am able to barely farm down. That's going to be a great game and a great video. Thank you so much to all my opponents and for all of you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye.